This is uh, just generally speaking, like how do you identify your potential soulmate when they appear and how do you kind of figure out the difference between soulmate, womb mate, or... Okay, <laughs> so, un you know, unfortunately, yeah, David, yeah. Okay, so unfortunately, people, here's, this is what happens, all right? This always cracks me up. All right, I'm going to tell this story again. I know my whole team's heard it, but many of you may not have heard it. But I had a couple, and so I teach in, in Utah, okay? And I've known, known them for a while. Um, but what actually ended up happening, it was through an entity removal that it got all revealed. And what happened was, is I was taking some entity out of the guy and I took him out and I look over at the female. This is the two that are in a relationship. So I look up and she's crying. I go, uh oh, what's up? I already knew it was up. So she goes, she, she, she goes, I don't know who he is. So I had her stand up, come around. And then I started talking to the entity inside of her that was attracted to the entity inside of him that left. But, oh, wait, I have to back up. So what happened was when I got him to go out, I, I, I brought in another female. I said, oh, look, there's a, there's some, there's a woman looking for you. So she's waiting for you. He looked up, gone. So she's over here and I'm talking to her, not, not the human, but the entity. And the entity is crying saying, but he left with another woman. And I said, don't worry about it. He already dumped her. And I pulled him back in. She went out. Their relationship was over. The attraction was the entities inside of them. They were attracted to each other, the entity within the other, the human en energy, they were not attracted. That relationship was done and over, okay? My point is, you. this happens as well. You might meet somebody and you have an immediate reaction. You might feel like you don't like them or, or you're disgusted. Here's another little quick story. When I was teaching in California, one of my students, everybody was repulsed by him, repulsed, okay? So I pulled him up to do a clearing and do a demo, because that's what I do, I do a demo. So I did a demo on him. And the first thing I say is, okay, you, I, can't, I'm, I wasn't thinking, I'm just like talking. And I said, okay, everyone, you know how you feel repulsed by so-and-so? And every mouth that dropped, their eyes get big, like, whoa, how could you say such a thing, you know? And yet it was true. So what I did was I did all this clearing on him, took on all these discarnates, took on all this, this yucky energy. And when we were done, everyone felt different towards him immediately, immediately. OK, so the point is, is you're not going to know, people, you're not going to know that you're, you know, whether you are attracted to a soulmate or you're attracted to somebody. You're not going to know why. OK, the key is, is if you're having a reaction Unravel that reaction. That's the only way you're going to know clearly if, in fact, it's you, it's an entity, you know, if it's a, if it's a connection. Um, you know, so there's really no absolute way to be totally clear on all this. But all you can do is keep showing up, telling the truth. But I'm telling you, if you have a reaction, I guarantee you, most of those reactions are not yours. They're coming from some wounding or an entity inside of you. Or, you know, you're reacting to something that is not them. I mean, I've done this thousands of times. People, they, they don't like somebody. Clear, clear, clear. Oh, they don't have that feeling anymore. You know, even Dave, remember in class, Dave, all the crap that would happen? And remember we do clearings? And what, remember what would happen? Anything you want to share that you remember about those kinds of things? I mean, what a crack up we had. We had a riot sometimes. I yeah, it was all, it, yeah, it was. Yeah. yeah, it was always a hoot, Bonnie. <laughs> the, the attraction, the relationship thing is so big in our lives as humans. We're so attached to it. We love it it's so much. And um, I don't know, there's like an addiction to that kind of drama. But it was, yeah, I don't remember any specific stories. I, yeah, I, I know that I was, pers I could tell personally from my experience, like when I had heard that there was someone in my life that was similar to that, I was like, oh my God, la la kind of stuff. And then I came to you because I was like, Bonnie, seriously, is this like an entity? Is this what you're talking about? And so for me, I had to get that that cleared up. But that was a hoot to get clarity on it, to know whether this was re real, you know, real or whether this is imaginary or like you have always talked about, this is interferences or past lives or whatever. And it was great to get that clarity for me. Uh, but yeah, there uh, no particular stories other than my own little journey there were popping up. Is, but yeah, there's all sorts of crazy <laughs> stuff that comes up. Um, 
Yeah, I love that story though about the people that think they're like in love and then you like you pull, <laughs> like, you pull no, the stuff out and they're like, I know. yeah, I, I'm good. I'll see you later. <laughs> I'm out. Yeah, that. Oh, that does remind so. me. There's another thing that people do. Okay, and this will like some like for example, I watched this and I've got you know I've got someone right now that I'm witnessing this with. Um, but what happens is is sometimes like when someone is attracted to you. They're pushing their energy into you, okay? And then what happens is they come in, their emotional energy comes in, and then you are feeling their attraction, thinking you're attracted to them, and then you get involved and become intimate, and you're like, what am I doing? I don't even like this person. But that's what's happening, people, okay? So when someone's liking you, they're pushing their energy inside of you, the best thing to do is get them cleared out so you at least know, is this real or is this them? and I'm acting out on their attraction. This happens a lot. It's very, very, very common. Someone can have an attraction to you and they think you're beautiful or whatever that attraction is. And they're like, because people don't realize, keep your awareness behind your eyes, okay? Because otherwise you're leaning out, you're pushing your energy into other people's bodies. And then no one knows for, no one can feel clearly what's really them, what's somebody else. And then it gets all confused and then you get involved and it's like this mess. And it wasn't even like, wow, this is like stupid. I don't want, I'm not, I don't even want this person. I don't even like this person. I'm not attracted to them, but their energy came into you and then you felt the attraction and you acted on it. And this happens all the time. Just a little ditto right there to just, okay, a little wake up here. Okay. When you feel someone attract, you know, like if you feel yourself being attracted, really feel into yourself and ask like, okay, what, because here's the thing, if it's really a hard attraction, you're going to feel it. You're going to feel that connection. If it's an if it's an energetic attraction that actually isn't yours or it's a wounding attraction, you're going to feel all that energy in the lower parts of your body. You're going to feel it in your second chakra, maybe third chakra. You're going to feel an angst. You're going to feel an anxiety. You're going to feel like an obsession and out of control. And those are red flags. That is not love. That is not soul connection. This is wounding. Or somebody else is is in your body and you're thinking it's your you and it's not okay. So there's all these dances, all these frequencies, all this these things that happen at these energy levels that people are not aware of. So if you can keep keep your own awareness, keep yourself and keep coming behind your eyes when you're thinking of somebody or you're liking something or you're you know you're you can feel yourself leaning out when you're leaning out. You know, and the other person's lean out, then, it, you know, you're doing all this dance out here, but none of it's the truth. It's not the real truth. OK, when you lean back in, then you start to feel the truth like, whoa, OK, yeah, leaning back in my body. Could you pull your energy back into your body? Take your awareness behind your eyes and then, then let's see what it feels like. OK, so if you can talk like that to somebody, which you'd want to and have them pull their energy back in. And they're going to pull out of your body. Their body will relax. And you'll be going, oh, this is not an attraction. Hmm. All righty then. Let's move on. All right. I just need to say that. Okay.